Files On Demand is a great way of accessing all your files in SharePoint and OneDrive without having to download them all and use storage space on your device. And it's a huge step forward for collaborative working. In this video, we will show you how to access a SharePoint site through Files On Demand, how to sync a SharePoint site to Files On Demand, and we will take a look at what the Files On Demand status icons mean. The first step is to enable the Files On Demand feature. Hover over the blue OneDrive for Business Cloud icon at the bottom of your screen. Right click and choose Settings. This will open a pop-up box and you need to click on the Settings tab. Make sure you tick the box for save space and download files as you use them and click OK. Files on Demand is now enabled. To open your SharePoint in Files on Demand, go to your Office 365 account and select SharePoint. Click on the site that you want to access. This will take you into the file structure. If you want to access all of the files on demand, you have to, rather confusingly, click Sync from the top menu or select a folder if you just want to access those specific files. Then click Sync. A pop-up box will tell you that the documents library is getting ready to sync and you'll be asked if you want to switch applications. Click Yes. Your files will now be synced. Now let's take a look at your synced files. Click on File Explorer and select the folder within your SharePoint drop-down menu. You will see that each file has a status icon next to it. The white cloud with the blue outline means online-only files. These files are only available when you're connected to the internet, but don't take up any space on your computer. When you open an online-only file, the symbol changes to a white circle with a green tick. This means the file has downloaded to your device and is now locally available. You can open a locally available file at any time, even without internet access. To change the file back to online only, just right click and select clear space. Your third option is always available files. To make a file always available, Right click it and select always keep on this device. This will now be marked with a green circle and a white tick and the files are downloaded to your device. They take up space but they're always available to you even when you're offline. Our tip would be not to use the always available files unless you have to. As the files can take up a lot of room on your PC you can run into sync issues if you and your colleagues work on the same file and are not connected to the internet. And you will use bandwidth because every time you or your colleagues save changes to that file, it will sync up to the cloud and back down to every computer where that file is synchronized. But that is not the case for online only files. So to recap, the white cloud with the blue outline means online only files. These don't take up space on your PC. It's also a great way of working collaboratively. If you want to know more about how to successfully work collaboratively, take a look at our training video. But remember, these files are only available when you're connected to the internet. The white circle with green outline and a green tick means that the file is locally available. You can open this file without the internet. You can also run into some sync issues if two people are working on the same file at the same time and are not connected to the internet. And the green circle with the white tick means that the file is always available. You'll be able to open this file without internet access. But this option will cause sync issues if more than one person is working on the file without internet access. If you get into a habit of working like this, you'll notice that a lot of space is taken up on your device. This will also use bandwidth, as downloading files can slow down your internet. Every now and then, it's a good idea to revert your files back to online only. You can either click the top level folder or the individual files. Right click and select clear space. This reverts the files to online only, which clears up space on your device and the icon will change to a white cloud with a blue outline. In the next video, we will look at document fidelity what it means and how you can make sure the format of your documents are always consistent. We hope you found this useful. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.